Uh, hi everyone. This is uh, Raj Handel from uh, Venice Hybrid Tech, and uh, <clears throat> today I'm making a short video on how to charge a Yukon Hybrid. Now, as you know, a uh, Yukon Hybrid is a very, battery is a very big battery, and it's uh, not easy to handle. So, I am trying to show you how to charge that battery inside the car. Although, for the sake of uh, demonstration, I'm doing it on the bench, but you can do the same thing inside the car. Now, Yukon Hybrid Battery has got a total of uh, 40 modules. So you're gonna charge 20 modules at a time. Uh, so you're gonna charge the battery in two halves. And, uh, the main thing to remember is that the battery as it lies in the inside the vehicle you have to lift the back seat up and then remove the top cover and then if you enter from the driver side the side which is closer to you is not the side that you're going to charge you have to make the connection on the other side opposite side so I will be showing this on the on in during this video but I just want you to know that if you try to charge the battery closer to you you are going to get wrong polarity the actual polarity is on the other side the the just behind the driver side and not uh, towards the passenger side so anyway, you'll see it in the video what I mean. So now I will take you over to the bench and show you. Okay, so as I was saying, this is the Yukon hybrid battery and it is inside the car like this, as it is now. This is, this side, the left side is the driver side and right side is the co-passenger side. And the driver is sitting behind here on this side. Okay, now you have to charge on this side and not on this side. Okay, and you have to start charging in two halves. You will start from here, this is negative, and go count 20 and that's the positive. And then you see the next negative and the last is positive. So you're going to, as you see, I have my charger connected here. It's a high speed charger and I'm charging this one half, the right half. This is the extreme right and then you count 20, uh, 20 modules and this is a negative. And uh, <clears throat> uh, so, but for charging the right half, you have to put the safety plug in because it's open here. So you have to put the safety plug in. But for charging this half, you don't need to put the safety plug in. And the meter on the high speed charger will show you the voltage. I journey when I started it was about 100 about 99 to 100 volts and now it is 165 volts and so I will charge one half 165 the other half 165 the total will be 330 and that that will do the job now I'm just going to show you what I was saying please don't charge this side if you think that this is positive and this is negative is a wrong polarity. The, pol the right polarity is this side. So you have to be careful. And also on this side, as you can see, there is a skirt plate. This, this skirt plate is attached here 
all across all across the body here there are about eight, seven eight nuts you have to open those but when you're charging inside the vehicle if you don't want to remove the skirt plate you can just remove the top covers these plastic covers and attach the uh, clips and start charging and uh, so this is very useful uh, because you don't need to remove the battery out of the car so I, that's all i wanted to show uh, if you have any questions please post them uh, under uh, down below uh, please like our videos and subscribe to our channels and uh, we will post some other videos later thanks for watching one more thing i want to cover in this video is that we do have uh, gear charges for this battery pack and uh, if you want to buy a gear charger and you want to leave it uh, permanently inside the vehicle and make connections then the best way to connect the charger would be this point here you can see this this black wire coming here from this nearest terminal this point here number 8 nut you open the nut and put the ring terminal and tighten the nut and then on the other side you see here again this is the red wire coming from the nearest positive terminal and you open the nut number 8 nut put the ring terminal in and tighten it and then you can bring the wire into the uh, either the driver side compartment or at the back and uh, put the charger there and start charging uh, one thing you have to know is that for charging you have to put the safety plug in otherwise you are not going to get the voltage so you have to after, please don't put the plug before making connections remove the plug make all the connections and then <clears throat> after you finished everything put the plug and see that you get the voltage in the charger uh, voltmeter window once you get that voltage you can start charging that means your connections are okay so that's one thing i wanted to cover also in this video